Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fake News Show. You know how we do it on this show. It's your host Frank Donga. Anything about disinformation, misinformation, rumor, or fakeness, so we, we bring it up here. You send us the information, we respond to you. We connect you to the right source of information through CDD West Africa. That's the Center for Democracy and Development. And with our partners, you know, fact-checking partners all over, we collaborate and we get you the information. It shock you, it not shock you now. <laughs> we never talk anything. We will come back after this break. Fake news. Yes, it's still fake news show, and you know how we do it on this show. CM, internal security and fake news. What's the correlation between it? Does fake news or misinformation and disinformation? Don't forget, anytime we mention fake news, always think misinformation or disinformation. Two differences. We did it. We don't already analyze them before. So what does internal security and fake news have in common? Or how do they interact? Or how do they affect one another? That's what we're discussing today. And see, no other person to discuss this kind of thing with except the police themselves. Everybody's afraid now. Young people, according to what we've gathered, young people are afraid. When they go out, they're afraid. Now in a prayer, say, God, protect me from this and that and that. People, they add police join now. God, don't let me meet police on the road. Now war. For some people, now war. Even the international rating of uh, abuse of human rights by armed forces for Nigeria, it not look good at all, it not pure. But the police are saying they are our friends, that we, they are not animals, that they care about us. They are there to protect lives and property. So what is wrong? What is happening? Let's talk to the police PRO, Frank Mba himself today. The first PRO is the Deputy Commissioner of Police. We are bringing him to this show today. Stay glued, don't go anywhere. But before then, let's go to the streets. We'll go ask one or two questions. And they come back. Not go anywhere, just after this, we'll come back. Politician. I don't go believe politician. Politician. You know, they say it's politic. I can't trust politicians. I can trust police than politicians. I can't judge them because two of them they are just like the same thing to me. <laughs> you hear what people they talk? Now be me talk amo. <laughs> What's your opinion about it? What is your opinion about it? Join the conversation. Hashtag stop fake news. Hashtag fake news show. See this Andu at CDD West Africa. Tweet at us. Or if you know me, you want to tweet at Afu Grand, I go answer you. I go hook you up at Frank Donga underscore. Let's converse. Let's talk. Now we need to go to our segment of Let's Talk. The police PRO. First PRO of the Nigerian police, Deputy Commissioner Frank Mba. It's in the, I don't go carry and come. It's in the building. Any question you want to ask and tweet at me now, idea here. We will know what's in the album. Let's go. Why? Let's talk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you are still with us on Fake News Show. You know the segment where we're doing now, now. Let's talk. We the talk. Oh. Right, we the talk to a lot of people. And we the talk, they make sense. So oh. now you don't know if you don't follow. This talk, we won't talk soon now. You know who we have in the studio. <laughs> mm. I told you at the beginning. No other person. But the first PRO, Deputy Commissioner of Police himself, Frank Mba, is right here with us in the studio. You are welcome, sir. Bros, I salute you. Now, me greet you, Pastor. I salute you. The matter with the ground, eh? you, pass, you pass me. But they don't send me, say, now nah, small me. Man, just find out how this misinformation take reach your side. As in, how, not how does the fake news affect your work? Mm -hmm. Does it even bother you at all? As a first man, you know, the, if you arrest them, Hmm? No, no, they talk for us, so not be me. No, 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 no. Fake, fake news na be kasala for town. Serious. And heavy kasala for work in place. If they worry your men as uh, they, they do their job. How, how fake news will affect your work? That be smoke be gay. How now? You know. If they affect us, <laughs> in short, I don't even know where to start, but may I just start somewhere? Mm, yeah, no. Number one, we say, for this we country and not just for Nigeria, mm. even for our colleagues, because you know, say with the with the good trainings outside, we get platforms where we talk to our colleagues for other parts of the world. 
one of the major problem we we see for for fake, for fake news be say one it they create additional work for hmm. us and some of the work we they create for us now work we go put the whole system even in danger one single fake news fake cause riots for town hmm. one single fake news where person will just sit down for in domot, just configure and fabricate them, put them together, one white light, one paint them, different color, release them, the thing go viral. People feel begin the fight for streets, especially when those fake news are touching on sensitive matters such as religion, hmm. such as ethnicity, Hmm. Such as, such as political issues, they can degenerate into a total breakdown flow and order. When that won't happen, one, we go leave all the work where they with the mouth begin the chase. They try to see how we go bring normalcy or carry the person. Yes, we go just disappear. You know they even easy at that point in time. At that point in time, you, you are not even, you, 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 are, you may not e immediately be looking for the person. Now, small resources, mm -hmm. now you will put to the look for the person. The bigger resources is how do you stop this riot, this mm -hmm. demonstration? How do you stop this burning and looting? How do you stop this killing and arson and malicious damage going on on the street? That's number one. Number two. Fake news, sometimes they cause us loss of man hmm. and resources. If we create one, talk one lie, we begin to chase them. Hmm. You go investigate, investigate, investigate. At the end of the day, you discover, say, you have wasted time, you have wasted resources. Sometimes you may even lose goodwill, only for you to discover, say, the whole thing and lie. Let me give you one example. Mm -hmm. At the peak of that lockdown, hmm. We just sit down like this. We see something begin to trend for, for Twitter. They trend everywhere, Instagram, everywhere. Important newspapers for this country carry the news. What thing happen? One young man for Delta just come out, say, come tweet, say how police killing mama. <laughs> Saying carry mama, they go hospital. <laughs> Saying come reach. Uh, where then they do lockdown check. Say police come block road. Say police say he must bring money. Saying they there because he no get the money and police no allow him pass. In they there for two hours. Say now for day in mama die. You know, you know that kind of thing? He generated a lot of passion, a lot of sympathy, empathy, condemnation. I don't know, I can't take no say no be true. When the news got to, to my office, I, I spoke to the IG. Ah, I saw God, this is not a bad thing. IG, con, IGPR, Damu, can't give matching orders. Say, we must find the policemen. And so we start work. We discovered that the place we described, there was no police presence there. Ah. We say, was it? a motorized patrol, maybe they pin down and disappear. We spoke to all the people in that neighborhood. There was no police presence there. We begin, we now, we ourselves can enter digital platform, hmm. use our cyber resources and capacity. When I get that thing. No, Come. Continue, sir. Uh -huh. You know, there will be everything, then they talk for marketplace. Now, me, are you to do? <laughs> <laughs> now, so... We can't begin, begin until we find this guy. When we find them, locate them, bring the guy. The guy say nothing like that happened. No. Just one trend. In mama, they are alive. And that is the, even the most annoying thing. He mess up. In mama, come full and come station. Hey. This man is married. Hey. He has children. Mama on the beg, everybody they beg. Say the guy, we say, okay, waiting you want achieve in saying what achieve more followership. You see how vain people can be. Child. So 
You know, sometimes you, you, you fake news, people, they generate them for economic gains, for mm. political gains. Maybe they want to alter people's opinions so that they can go this way politically, vote for one person, or so that they can debrand or demarcate one candidate in, 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 while propping up another candidate. But some people will just do them out of mischief. That guy was just a mischief maker. Perhaps he has economic in, intentions. Um, intentions, objectives, because mm -hmm. probably if he if he's able to garner a lot of followership, mm -hmm. he can begin to pride himself as uh, as mm -hmm. an online influencer, mm -hmm. and then he can probably use it to negotiate with mm -hmm. some products. But that's it. And we have seen a lot. There is one we are currently investigating. But I don't want to talk about it now until we, we arrest the guy. But we have seen so many. We've seen so many people that will create scenarios that, 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 that are not in existence in order to just cause confusion. So, like I was saying, it can lead to breakdown of law and order. It can lead, like in this case now, we wasted all our time, hmm. our resources, our investigative capacity, Time that would have used to solve other crimes, we had to use it thinking we were solving a real crime. Hmm. At the end of the day, uh, it, 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 it were just just like somebody send you on general market. Good. Or give you a handicap. Good. Go go. go. Huh? Campaign. So so Campaign. so it's 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 um those are some of the things we see out there, and then come to think about it, fake news also affect us because when these deliberate lies, these fabrications are put out. Some policemen, not just policemen, most of us are demoralized. Hmm. Because people paint you for what you are not in the course of you doing your job. So, so um, at the end of the day, you are like, oh my God. So instead of being gingered, hmm. being motivated to work harder, sometimes it can be very demoralizing when you are being fed constantly with a, mm. an overdose of mm. lies disinformation, and... Disinformation, yes, and, you know. yes. So, so there are so many um, ways they affect us. And uh, uh, for us in the law enforcement agencies, it is, it is, it is, it is very, very... Um, it, it is something very, very important for us to find a way around. We take a short break. When we come back, it go come hot because I don't know who of the AC. Not go anywhere. Oh. The <coughs> Deputy Commissioner of Police, first PRO, Frank Mbana, he's there with us. You know they go anywhere. Oh. Yeah, calm down, drink water, meet me after the break. One, two, three. Now I can send this story to my brother. He must share it with my mother. What are you sending to your aged mother? Come and read. I found these stories on the internet. Wait, did you verify these stories to be sure they are facts? Verify? Why? Have you not heard that it is important for you to always verify stories by doing these five before sharing them? Five things? That's too much for just one story. First, check the headline if it's sensational. Check the news sites that publish it to ensure it's credible. You double check to make sure the same piece has been published by other credible media organizations. Oh, really? Yes, check the dates the story was published and finally seek experts' opinion and possibly advice on the report. Wow, I'll quickly verify these by checking the headline, date, source and seek experts' opinion before I forward them to my brother and mother. This message is brought to you by the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD. You should only share information from credible sources. Uh -huh. Welcome back, guys. This is Fake News Show. You know me now, and I may be Frank Donga, but nobody will be near Frank Donga with the hero. Another Frank day, you know, be Donga, sha. The Frank with the here. <laughs> Deputy Commissioner of Police, so. <laughs> first PRO. Frank Mba, yes, of the Nigerian Police Force, is here with us. He's our guest on this special episode. You're welcome, sir. Again. Thank you. Thank you for joining Donga. us. So, there was one, one, one musician, you know, someone was about getting married. Let me not mention names. Some guys just came out and said, ah, he gave my sister a Belena. You know, and it's trended on social media. And he got upset. Like, how would you say that? If we, know, if we are joking, let's know we are joking. This kind of thing. How would you say that about me? My wedding, uh, my engagement is a few days away. I just had engagement. 
And the next day, you know, somebody got them arrested and, you know, they confessed and said, I joke with you, I joke with you. If it was a hot-headed fiancé or fiancé, whatever the case, and that yeah. person had yeah. probably committed suicide or gotten depressed or, you know, falling, or called the wedding off, you know, things would have gone. Yeah. Although some people now later said that, but you concern police with uh, fake news, saying a criminal offense. Ah. How police go go lock somebody up because they tweet against another celebrity? Why is the police abusing their power? That one, I don't know what you know. I don't know whether that's something where you Under the cyber laws of this country, okay. there are plenty of things that you do online that will constitute a criminal offense. Eh? Yes. Including and like making fake promises as a politician that you want to provide water? <laughs> also, like, I would want to I will know, make economy good you know, for you. you know, I don't know the politics is a different okay. ball game. Or you, know, you, you know, there is one or there is one political scientist who said the good thing about politicians is that only a politician can promise you that he's going to build a bridge for you and then return back to you to give you justification why if you build a bridge for you the bridge will constitute a disaster for you. And therefore, not, bridging the, not building the bridge is, is actually serving you by not building the bridge. What, the, your, your, one of your penal codes obtained by trickery. He doesn't fall under that one. Mm -hmm. If you, you obtain you, my you, vote... You know, you know, <laughs> you know stay in politics. Yeah. I, I don't defend them all because I know no, they don't nobody like. defend anybody. But let you me tell you something. You just just if somebody come now and come tell you, say, vote for me because... If you vote, I will I do, do the this. road, blah, blah, blah. Gentleman's contract. Now, nah, you, you vote. And then he come back to you and say, uh, in fact, after four years, if you come back to you again and say, vote for me, because the last time you voted for me, I could not do the road because the votes, the, 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 the allocation for my constituency or for my state or for my local government went down. But this time around, the allocation is beginning to come up. So I will be able to actually do the road now. Or I could not do the road that time because there were more than 10 roads that I was supposed to do. I have been able to do seven. So your owner is among the three that I would do when I return. So vote for me. So, uh, no, today it's like, like, like the last time. The only this. time, the only time, um, polit politicians in all those their tantrums become a source of concern to us is when they begin to engage in hate speeches. Mm. Because a lot of hate speeches also constitute fake news. Mm. Um, but if they have facts, if they can. Police. Yes, that, that's, yeah. that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. Not all hate speeches are fake news. Mm. Uh, because some hate speeches, they might be factual, but in, in, in our communication, we say these are politically incorrect statements. They are hate speeches. Um, if, if I say something, there's something I might say that, that might make you get upset. But... Maybe um, there are empirical data backing mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. You understand? But all I know is that um, if you are a decent politician, a decent administrator, a decent uh, preacher, whether in, in Christianity or in Islam, a decent writer, there are things... You will, you will not, there are some lines you will not cross because of the overall interest of public good, public peace, public security, mm. and, um, and probably public order. You just, you just don't want to cross those lines. I would have loved to ask you, you know, right now, if you have any training programs, because you mentioned training, you know, you said you go for tra your trainings abroad. And maybe like this training is that they reach uh, our officer already really this street, you know. I know say nobody officer like you, we say you they use brain work from office under AC. Sometimes they go for you. Well, <laughs> no, 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 I Frank, just... you like say, we, I don't even know. No, no, your no, name is no. not Frank, Abby. No, the same name with the bear. So no, 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 no
See, eh, so some of these officers are with the district, with the help with the common man for street. You, you they help with the common man with brain. I did streets. You did streets. Yes, I did streets. Yeah. As the same. You they train those guys to with the day street like normal guy. Yes, uh, you know because they are dead. See, see, so let they me. They are dead at times. Yeah. So if a person won't carry explanation, give them. If he be say slap, now he go meet you. The thing we say. Mm. Uh, Why be like that? Sometimes. Now fake news. Sometimes say. When I do exaggerate this thing. Ah, sir, police have not slapped you before. I'm sorry, let me, I, I, wait, let me, let me wait, take it back. Nah, what I mean to say is that, eh? <laughs> sir, no, you say, you are trying to say something. See, hmm? see, see. I don't know when, when I will whisper to you, I should just say it. But you see, eh, most times when I do exaggerate things, and when you exaggerate, that one too will amount to fabrication. And when you fabricate, that one will come become Thick, and mm. he go enter the that could be called fake news. So, it, once in a while, I know say my people they do something probably we we not supposed to. Do. Yes, that's true. Because wow. I always talk and say we are over three hundred thousand police officers in Nigeria. It is not possible for all these 3,000 policemen and women to be a collection of angels. Hmm. Come to think about it, there are some countries in the world that are not up to 300,000. Everywhere, we have every 12 people. And, and, one and, and when you go to jails. those countries, they have jail. Hmm. They have jails. They have some of those citizens. Uh, some countries are just about 100,000, 120, 200,000. And in those countries, they still have jails. So there are still some bad people within the 200,000 or the 150,000 persons. So if you consider the police, the, the NPF as an ecosystem of its own, a community of its own, or is a country of its own, there is no way mm -hmm. all the 300,000 persons, 300,000 uh, policemen and will women be will be angels. Some and, of them and, will be and, and I can, Some I can, of them will be I can police. tell you, I mm -hmm. can tell you, even in the business you do, whether in the media industry or uh, the entertainment industry, which you are also holding sway, you also don't have a collection of angels. I agree with you. That's why I said some you, of us you, now. You understand? Some of us are MCs, some of us are comedians, actors. Like, you know, some of you, not everybody is a, is a, is a saint in the police world. Some people are SAS. Some people are traffic. <laughs> All right, there you see. I said, see, the second one, the second one of the hot. And I saw, SAS, I did sweat. Now, only I've got no sweat for here. Or the me, police I sweat here. to join. <laughs> I sweat to join. Now, me, you put for hot seat. Now, now me sweat pass. Not go anywhere after this break. Better still come, not go. Just wait till <laughs> we come. Fake news show continues. Yes, fake news is something that is not genuine. Spread us up for fake news. How could you have for all that? I know they have them. Nah, I don't want to. Stop to spread the fake news. Carry hand to cover your mouth like this. Woo! I'm going to be small matter. <laughs> hey! Hey, really, we. He hot. He tight. He tight. Uh, that was the police, uh, that was the first PRO, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Frank Mba. He, he talked and we asked questions. The matter never finished for them because we couldn't finish that interview. We have to continue again next week. And he was, he will, Naim will continue. He will continue that conversation. He has not finished. We have many things to talk about. We are bringing him back next week. But before then, he gets some fake news items. We don't cast. Hmm? We see the West Africa. They have unveiled. They have debunked. That's what I want you to see now. You see everything. See it for yourself now. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. After I will come back. CDD Fact Check Report. Fake news alert. Did NCDC spend 1 billion naira to send COVID-19 messages to Nigerians? NCDC never spent 1 billion naira on SMS to educate Nigerians as claimed by screenshots circulating on the internet. According to the center, the SMS is part of the contribution of three major mobile network providers in Nigeria. CDD urges members of the public to verify every information before sharing, especially those relating to COVID-19. 
Have you seen it? That's by CDD West Africa, the bunking one or two uh, fake news items there. And that is why we all have to be responsible. It's not every information that comes your way. And it doesn't matter. We don't think misinformation cannot come from a highly placed source. It can come. That's why you have to take your life, your future in your hands. Be responsible for the information they send to your phone. The information you find online, verify, confirm from two or more sources. Look at the source. Look at the URL, the, the, the internet link. Where is it from? Is it a fake? Look at the credibility of the person saying it. And ask questions. No matter, ask questions. Don't just follow and, and push and forward messages without verifying. Don't do garbage in, garbage out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for always watching. Fake News Show, brought to you by City West Africa, in partnership with USAID and the NDI, uh, National Democratic Institute. We are back again next week. Don't go anywhere. Tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend. Add your enemy join if you get one. Next week, we have to continue because the police commissioner will come back home. Enough he go. He has promised to come back. The, poli the PRO, the first PRO, Frank Kumbai, is coming again. We are bringing him again to finish this conversation on this SAS matter. Is bail free. All these things we are talking about. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week. of Center for Democracy and Development with support from USAID through the National Democratic Institute.